Big Mike Masato, CEO of Staff Driven Dental and the Dental Road Warrior, returning for episode 36 in the series. Uh, I want to get into a topic uh, in kind of breaking down coaching and consulting today uh, as it applies to um, not just dental consulting, but any, any consulting and coaching for that matter. Like, what is it exactly that's happening? You know, what areas is a coach or consultant working on when you bring them into your life? Uh, this seems to, you know, obviously the, the, the way when clients approach us, you know, what are they asking? They're basically saying, look, I need help because I need to have more of something. I need to have le or less of other things. You know, I want to have less stress. I want to have less, prob less problems, uh, less issues with my staff. Uh, I want to have more money. I want to have more free time. I want to have more success. Uh, I want to have more new patients. Okay, so basically when we get approached, it's, you know, asked about what do you want to have? All right, it's a having thing. All right, so having is only a part of a three-part equation uh, that coaches deal with when we work with you. Okay, there's three things that we components that we work on. We work on having, you know, helping you have more or less of what you don't want to have in your life, uh, and we also work on doing. All right, we teach you what needs to be done and how to do it to be uh, successful and make changes in your practice in your life. So there's a doing aspect of things and getting coached on learning how to do that. Whether it's putting in systems and policies is a doing thing, you know, scripting is a doing thing, you know, uh, the actions we take during the course of a day to generate more practice referrals or, you know, uh, close more cases, you're all doing things throughout the course of a day. So we teach you on the doing part. Uh, and another big uh, forgotten aspect or an un 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 misunderstood aspect of things, we're also working on the being part of who you are. All right, this is a big area. And, and again, and of all things, being, doing, and having, being is the most important thing, and people don't really realize that. It's really the, it's prerequisite to all the other things. So if the being is not taking care of a part of things, uh, and the doing, the doing and the having thing ain't gonna come too easily, all right? So we have to look at the being things. That's where the coaching comes in, coaching on how you be. What, what do I mean by this? You know, this, this is really a personality thing, and what we're doing with people's personalities, you know, and how you carry yourself in the practice, your level of professionalism, your attitude, you know, the doctors sometimes are their own worst enemies, you know, or, or because if you come in and you're being negative and you're being, you know, disrespectful and nasty and critical and harsh, you know, all these fun qualities, the Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde uh, syndrome, so to speak, like what doctor are we going to get in the practice today? You know, we've had that scenario. Oh, don't talk to him. Don't talk to her. She's in one of her moods today, whatever. You know, that level of being and how you carry yourself in practice, all right, it definitely affects how everything else goes in the practice. You know, and for beingness, you know, how you be determines how people, how much people like you and how much people will support you and how enthusiastic they are to be in the game for you. You know, this, this, this aspect of being, you know, affects morale and how morale is in the practice. And you generate that and you cause that, Doc, or not based upon how you be. And, and we just think we can come in and be any old way and everything's going to be okay. But you know what? That doesn't work. It doesn't work for employees and staff when they come in there. Like, for instance, if you have a person at the front desk being angry all day long, because of what's going on in her life or what's happening or not happening, right? Then how's that going to translate when she answers the phone? Okay, I can I can give the doing and here's the script. I can get the same script with ten different people and get ten completely different results. It's not the script. It's how that person's being with the script. You know how many times I call an office and get an angry person on the phone, or I get a distracted person and she's being distracted or being annoyed or being stressed. That comes across in the phone, and that affects your that affects their success uh, and effectiveness and your money. All right, so again, being is a big thing, you know, and how we all carry each other, what kind of state are we in? That's kind of where I, you know, at a morning huddle in the morning, I want everybody to check how, how, we're, how we're, our state of being is start the day, all right? Because that, that carries out, that sets the energy for the office, the tone for the whole day, and how productive we're going to be, okay? Because being, okay, affects morale, and morale is a huge issue in practice, you know, and how we feel, you know, enthusiastically, energetically, positively about the goals and, and purposes of the practice every single day, all right? And again, this starts at the top of the doctor. You really need to take a look in the mirror and see how you're being on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, we also have blind spots in how we be. And it's very easy to see, hey, look what's going on over there with the other person. But when, when we, it's very hard to see ourselves the way other people see us. You know, I always said the true gift in life is being uh, able to see yourself as other people see you. You know, part of what coaching does is basically holding up that mirror of self-analysis and say, Doc, take a look at how you're being. Take a look at how you're carrying yourself over the course of a day. You know, what happened to manners is another, another great thing. You know, a lost art uh, and, uh, <laughs> in, in today's society about what happened to you know, having good manners and good uh, public relations with other people. 
right? Being affects public relations, by the way. You know, and just, you know, all of human relations, all of human relationships are based on good public relations, uh, having good public relations with each other, right? It's all, been, and you don't ask yourself, you gravitate toward people that have good public relations with you, that treat you well, that are nice people, that are, you know, uh, fair people, uh, you, know, not, you know, not harsh, friendly, you know, this is part of what it is, you know, that are that acknowledge. I, talk, I teach about appreciation and acknowledgement in their program. These these are parts of how you be, as opposed to being critical or just basically ignoring your staff or not giving it your time and attention to your people, all right? So again, how you be, this is what you need to get the biggest amount of coaching because being comes before doing, becomes before having, you know? So you can you can just go around saying, I want all these things and be stuck in dream mode, like I want to have, I wish I had this, I wish I had that, you know, you'll obviously know that a prerequisite to having is that something needs to be done, and we can teach you that, like here's all the stuff that needs to be done if you want to have what you want to have in life, but what you have to also look at, you know, being is key, how you be is key, right? I've said this a million times in my program, my clients who are watching this right now are already smiling when I say this. Right? But my mantra has always been, it's who you're being about what you're doing that makes the biggest difference in life. It's who you're being about what you're doing that makes the biggest impact in your life. You know, that will, that will pull in prosperity. You get from the universe, you get from the world, you get from your practice, what you put out into your world of your practice. Right? If you put out negativity and you put out, you know, um, you know bad, bad attitude, you know, or, uh, you know, whatever, you know, all these negative qualities in terms of how you carry yourself every day, Doc, you, that's what you, you're not going to get much back in return. Not a lot of positive back in return, that's for sure. Look at those days when everybody's, you know, up and happy and, and positive and things are just, things just flow and they just click. And look how much money's there at the end of the day, as opposed to the other way around. All right? So again, as a leader in your practice, right, in terms of how you be, that dictates the success of any coaching. You know, I can have all the best scripts and material and systems and everything, and I do. I have great material, and it's a fantastic book of stuff, all right? But that doesn't really, that's not where the rubber hits the road here. You know, first you have to decide, are you willing to have someone come into your life and coach you and change how you be and be open to see, where, where do I have my blind spots? What, are, what do I not see about myself that's holding me back in life, in my relationships with other people in my life, whether it's my staff and patients? Because this is the thing that's keeping you from being successful the most. Right, holding you back from having implementation of training happen. All right, so the doing, and, and by the way, and you're, you're, the doing part of your life, the work, will be a lot easier when we all have our being in order here. All right, so we all go in there and we have all, you know, good people in a good place, good headspace, mentally, spiritually, emotionally every day. Guess what? The doing becomes easy. If, if the work on a daily basis is arduous and difficult and, and everything is a huge uh, issue to get things done and happen in your practice, take a look at how your people are being with everything and how they're approaching everything in the course of a day. Same thing with you, Doc. Starts at the top. You know? And again, this I've been coaching people in corporate ex executives in all fields for many years. I've been doing coaching for 30 years in some capacity, whether it's been in the healthcare field, uh, the health and fitness field. Uh, I did dot-coms during the dot-com era and courts coaching young corporate executives then, you know, PR firms, law firms, accounting firms. I did it all in my time. I've settled on dentistry the last 21 years. But I can tell you the one common denominator is the person at the top, you know, and how everybody is. All right, so this is the whole thing. How people be really dictates the success of anything in the end. So that's why I, it starts and ends with us. We're always looking at the people. We're always looking at what kind of people we have in the practice, you know, and how they are. That's why I never hire the resume. The resume tells you a lot, tells me a lot about their experience of what they've done. But it doesn't tell me how they've been and how who they are. You know, who they are as a person is critical. And that's what you should be looking for every day, Doc, from your personnel, right? Just like when we will come into your practice and we work with you and meet you for the first time, we're looking, hey, what do we got here? What areas of development does the Doc have, the leader in this practice have, in terms of being that we need to be uh, working with Hamad? And the key point of being every day is being on purpose. I've talked about purpose before. You know, being motivational and inspiring to your staff. These are the top two things that you have to, you know, embody every day you walk into the practice. Be on purpose, be motivated and inspiring to your team every day. Look where that will take you in practice. Look at the success level you'll have with your coaching when you're like that, right? But if it's a battle, 
uh, in terms of you know you you're struggling with your inner demons or whatever holds you back and your quirks and look everybody's a little crazy in their own way I get it that's the way life is we all have our little quirks and insanities and whatever all right but we that but you have to look at those things because these are the things more than anything else that hold you back all right and you have to ask yourself how many times you know you're, I'm a great dentist I, I I went through school I do such great dentistry and I, I, I do so well clinically for people why where why isn't prosperity finding me in terms of success Just look at how you're being why you're doing it why you're doing your dentistry you know we talk about chair side manner all right I've seen I've had doctors tell me they don't want to talk to people How's that going to work when you don't want to talk to people? I think that's why sedation dentistry was created. You know, we can tell the dentists that didn't want to talk to people can make people go unconscious, go in there and go out, and, and there's no conversation, all right? So it, it, you, there, you, you have to understand this is a human relations people game. We're dealing with human beings here, whether it's your staff or your patients. You've got to develop these skills, all right, and learn how to improve and how you be in, in a relationship to them. And that's what we're here to help coach you on. So I hope this uh, little philosophical insights were helpful today. It, it is very powerful and very necessary to know. And uh, so take it for what it's worth and, and, and take my words and heed them. And, uh, and violate and don't go follow them at your own risk. And uh, I hope this will, again, you will they take this stuff to heart and really seek out uh, getting some help on this level in addition to all the other uh, kind of work on the doing and uh, having into things. All right, so uh, this has been episode 36. Uh, if you're enjoying this series, please share it. It's a big help to me and others. And I'll be back with episode 37 before you know it.